welcome back to my channel in today's video is i'm going to bleach my whole hair <laughs> my whole hair guys this is the very first time that i'm going to bleach my whole hair the last time i did bleach my hair it was the ender layers of my hair it was successful guys and i don't have any problem at it and also a few weeks ago i did uh, color my hair using crepe paper it was a green crepe paper guys so it still have the color in here a bit light but it's still there guys so i'm telling you guys i'm not a professional hairdresser but i've been doing coloring my hair for years now and everything is successful and i never really have problem even i did bleach my mother-in-law's hair and she loved it i've been going to the salon watching them how they do it so i can apply it to myself i know it doesn't make me a professional because of my experience for the past few years but yeah it's kind of like you know you learned from your experience you matured from your experience not with your age the last time my hair was bleached it was at the salon and it's taking so much time guys and it costs so much i think i paid around 400 dollars something like that yeah it's so expensive guys so guys i'm not going to use um, aluminum foil i'm just gonna wrap it with shower cup the aluminum foil guys it helps for your hair to be even but i hope it's gonna be even also the aluminum foil guys will help your hair to bleach faster this is the bleach that i'm going to use it's really really quick blend guys i have extra in case i need more bleach here is the extra guys it's an open 420 gram of bleach better to have more than less guys so i decided also guys just bleach my hair once so i'm going to use 12 percent 40 volume of developer this is very very high guys so um i'm not recommended this to anyone if you don't have any experience with bleaching at all so don't use this please use the lower volume <laughs> I'm just gonna do the bleach mixture and we can get started. So you always have to measure them using weighing scale. So the ratio will be 2 to 1. So in every 50 gram of bleach, you need to use 100 ml of developer. I'm also adding shampoo but this is only optional guys, just few drops. Here, I'm using 150 gram of bleach and 300 ml of developer. So you have to separate your hair and get small amount of hairs. And then you need to put the bleach about an inch away from your roots because if you start on the roots, they bleach so fast. So you have to always start one inch away from the roots. So you have to blend the bleach using your hand and then don't forget to flip your hair and put more bleach on the back of that hair you are holding and blend them again and also of course don't forget the lower part of your hair and blend them again like so then just do the same method of all your hair the bleach I'm using is not really the same with any other bleach because it doesn't have a really really strong smell it's just so mild that's why it's easier to apply because it's not strong part because you really cannot see how it goes back there but yeah I managed to bleach all of them but I didn't put a lot of bleach underneath where the green hair colors are because they already bleach 
After I'm done with all the hair, I just start right away on the roots. I need to wait for more time. I think it's really good idea to really put them on aluminum foil. But this is like experiment guys. If if it's good to put without the aluminum foil or not. So just see. Just gonna massage in the back guys. Finish everything. <laughs> So guys, oh shit, it's so messy in here right now. I'm just gonna get some aluminum foil, a whole one, so I can put on the top before the shower cap. Yeah, I removed my uh, t-shirt. I'm just gonna remove this. Something like this. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't have a new one. So, it's kinda like that. So it's there, it's kind of like that, there's a bit of a hit, so yeah, doesn't matter. So so they will get a hit from the aluminum foil. I'm gonna check if everything is even and then I'm gonna wash my hair. A few moments later. <laughs> I think it's okay. Feel my head, this feels so heavy. I think it's okay if, oh my god, it's so hot. <laughs> When I bleach the under layer, so my hairs always have orange on the bottom. Hey guys, so here is after I wash my hair. When I wash my hair, guys, I use the color hair wax. It's already fade the color because it's been with me for a long time already. I don't use it often. And a silver shampoo. So I've been using the same product since uh, I did my very very first uh, hair blog. So it's the same with this one, uh, silver anti yellow pigment. But you need to really wash it a lot so that the yellow will really fade away. So I gotta mix them together because it was really really yellow earlier, guys. So this is why I use this. And I use a lot and mix with the purple shampoo because the color of the silver shampoo is actually purple. So I kind of like thinking of um, mixing them because this is also purple but this is hair wax. This is my bare face. So this is guys the result. It was so orangey. Oh, what? Oh, it's so colorful. Oh my god. Oh. It's different color down here underneath because of it was already bleached guys and then I bleached it again so it was so pink wow it's actually like kind of like rose gold you know when your hair is wet it's not really the final color of your hair I think it will be so nice once it's dry I also thinking to dry it naturally I'm not using blower uh, before that I'm just gonna use some leave-on conditioner first so I'm using this one uh, it's called carry moisturizer hair conditioner this is a leave-on cream so guys all the products I'm showing you is not sponsored everything is purchased by me the product may not work for you, may work for me, may work for you, may not work for me. You know, I'm just showing you what product I use because most of you always asking if my hair all died or my hair got so dry or damaged. So I actually use a different product for my hair to keep it like, you know, healthy. I also use sometimes oil. So I'm just gonna show you the final final result guys. So. Hey guys, so this is the final result of my hair after dry. It's a bit yellow in here, but everything else is perfect. It's kind of like, you know, rose gold. As you can see in the picture in here, this is my hair two years ago, but I did that in the salon. It's 
kind of like the same so like that you see I did put some hair oil but I put too much of hair oil so that's why when you put hair oil never ever put the hair oil on the top of your hair especially if you have an oily hair because my hair right now is um, a bit oily on the top guys so this is the final result it's a bit orangey i don't know what's the color but in the bottom in here it's pinkish i think because i've been bleaching it four times now because the last time i bleached my under layers was twice so now it's kind of like pinkish but i'm not complaining it's actually okay so i'm gonna have this hair for few days or weeks and then i'm gonna color my hair again the next time so i think until i get sick of it and then i'm gonna color my hair so i think it's okay what do you think of the color it's kind of like not the same color in here I think it's gonna be okay once I really use hair dye because I didn't use hair dye guys I just use a uh, purple shampoo or silver shampoo so it's kind of like this so in here is not so much color because I let it sit for a few minutes only so guys a stay tuned for my next hair color and that's it for today thank you so much guys for watching I hope you enjoy my hair color journey and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you like this video and I guess see you on my next video bye